consumption, phthisis, Pott's disease, scrofula, white plague. Tuberculosis or TB since the ancient ages has been an epidemic with many names. TB finds reference in some of the world's oldest literature, ranging from the suktas in Atharvaved to Hippocratic writings. And some of the ancient skeletons unearthed reveal that TB has been afflicting the human population from Indus to Greek since as early as 3000 to 5000 BC. Today, despite the tremendous progress achieved by medical science, TB still remains a threat at large. According to the World Health Organization, WHO World TB Report 2015, about 9.6 million people were victims of TB in 2014. It is estimated that at least one person in the world is newly infected with MTB every second and there occurs two deaths every three minutes in India, making TB one of the formidable challenges of the 21st century. Tuberculosis is a highly contagious airborne infection caused by Mycobacterium tuberculosis or MTB, which is said to have evolved from an animal pathogen called Mycobacterium bovis. According to researchers, TB was first introduced into human society when man domesticated cattle around 5000 BC. MTB was discovered by Robert Koch a German physician in 1882. Koch presented his findings on the infectious cause of TB on the evening of 24th March 1882, a day commemorated as World TB Day today. MTB can infect several organs of the human body, including the brain, the kidneys and the bones. But most commonly it affects the lungs and the condition is known as pulmonary tuberculosis. The common symptoms of TB include severe cough, fever, chills, night sweats, loss of appetite, severe weight loss, blood in sputum, etc. and is usually diagnosed by a sputum smear test, skin patch test or chest x-ray. The pathogen is carried through droplets in the air and spread from a person with active pulmonary tuberculosis by coughing or sneezing. In developing nations like India, much social stigma surrounds patients with TB and TB patients often experience rejection and social isolation. Unlike the popular beliefs, TB is completely curable and is generally treated with a four-drug regimen under the program called the Directly Observed Treatment Short Course or DOTS. This makes use of a combination of two drugs isonized and rifampicin given for six to nine months along with pyrazinamide and ethambutyl for the first two months. These four drugs sometimes with streptomycin are together called the first line drugs for TB. But it is seen that patients often do not comply to the treatment as the course is long with side effects. However, not following the drug regimen and discontinuation of courses often lead to the development of new and deadly drug-resistant strains like the multiple drug-resistant tuberculosis or MDR, extensively drug-resistant tuberculosis or XDR, extremely drug-resistant XXDR-TB and totally drug-resistant TB-TDR-TB. While doctors attempt to treat drug resistance with special second-line drugs and third-line drugs, drug resistance can often prove fatal. The common vaccine for children against TB is the BCG or Bacil Calmeat Guerin vaccine. Researchers across the world are striving hard towards creating novel drugs for TB to reduce the time course and the side effects. But along with scientific efforts, TB management also calls for effective policies and creating public awareness. More than 130 years past the breakthrough discovery by Robert Koch, while we observe yet another World TB Day, let us pledge to work towards a TB-free world.